All right, here we go. This is the second engine. Their first one developed the rod knock when I did the crank relearn. So, like I said, the motor was sitting for 10 plus years. So, you know, it is what it is. That shit happens. Guy stuck behind his motor, got us another engine. Um, this one, what I did, I had to swap the intake manifold, reseal the whole bottom in, put a new oil pump on it, and a new timing chain because it was a 03, the bastard year for the crank sensor. So, so I didn't end up with problems. I switched the cover out on the front end for the tall cover for the newer sensor, which is supposedly more reliable. So that's what we went with. Newer sensor, newer timing chain, oil pump, oil pan gasket, intake gasket. I think the only external gasket that hasn't been replaced at this point in time is the valve covers. So, but everything is running nice. Trim levels are good on par right where they need to be. It's sweeping like it is within 5%. It's up at operating temperature, hasn't seen any knock, timing is stable, fans are working, fully heated up, you can see the oil pressure. It's good when it's cold oil pressure, it hits about 65. But uh, everything's good. Like I said, mechanical throttle body. I kept the factory set up because uh, we're running an Allison transmission. That's what that is. Fuel pressure is good. We're about 60, a little higher than normal, but that's good. We said resealed the whole pan. You can see the felt pro blue gasket in there. There ain't no leaks. I've run six gallons of gas through this thing already. Sitting here. You can see it's got traditional small block Chevy mounts on it now. Starter checks out good. No oil leaks. It's got all the exhaust manifold bolts in it. Radiator's got built up pressure in it. Coolant system's good. Ain't using any coolant. Alternator's charging. Box is fully finished labeled start a relay circuits with the brindle switch is operating ac relays out because he needs to finish wiring the ac depends on how he decides to do it in his car um like i said cap kept it all factory because this is a newer one 04 and above operating system for the 81 l18 said everything's working top notch we did get some expansion and contraction noises out of this big block, more than what I'm used to, and I'm chucking it up to maybe the exhaust manifolds. It might be over tightened, and that's why they're popping and making noise when it expands and cools down. So, the exhaust is on there, ran out the door. O2 sensors, you can see brindle switch hooked up. So the starting system works as it's supposed to relying on the computer to start and cut starter. But like I said, we're right on par. Sweeping within 5%. Operating temperature, electric fans working. We got the wide band in there, logging right where it needs to be at. I did use EFI Live, the V2. I really want to go to the V3, but you know, cost money man that's what it is but here it is all finished out I hope the guys are real happy with it had a little work a little bit harder this is the first 04 and above operating system I've done with the mechanical throttle body on the 8 one with an Allison I should say because I have done mechanical throttle bodies on a 04 and above on the standard you know V8 setup without an Allison no problems but like I said, fully hooked up, running. Everything checks out good, man. So hopefully your install goes smooth. There's no issues. If you do, you got my number, contact me. We'll run through it and figure it out and get it handled. That's what I do. But everything is good, my man. Thanks for the business.